llega Saúl. Gol del Atlético de Madrid. Marca Saúl Llíguez. Excepcional el disparo pegado al palo. Bueno, él marcó. Él está un poco eh, primero. He scored. He was the first, he opened the scoring. And I realized that Atletico Madrid were ahead through Saúl when I was warming up. We've got a little challenge between us to see who scores the most goals from the start of the season until Christmas, and Saúl and I were almost level. Johnny was well ahead and it was hard to catch him. Johnny was uncatchable for us, but Aaron had scored once and I had two goals, with one match day left to see who was going to take the trophy. I scored and wrote to him to say it was his turn. Then he scored and hit the post with me thinking, he's almost level with me, although I did have a cup game to go. The trophy always goes to whoever scores the fewest. The prize is a funny one, like a brick painted gold as if it were the Ballon d'Or. We switched the prize around and this year I won the award. Recently I've been filling my trophy cabinet, but this year I'm more calm because I don't think my name is on the award. First was Saúl, the youngest, followed by Aaron, the middle child. The challenge had been laid down for the oldest of the Niguez brothers, Johnny. The trio made history, as never before had three brothers scored in the same weekend. They compete against one another, but also provide motivation for each other in a tale of three footballing siblings. I always thank both of them, but most of all Johnny, because he plays in more or less the same position as I do. He's helped me to adapt to playing in different positions, because I also have a lot of experience in the middle. When I play more as a defensive pivot, he can correct me more than Aaron can. Aaron can correct me more when I'm on the wing, because of his characteristics. I always highlight Johnny's intelligence, because it's what I find hardest, reading the game like he does. He knows how to read the game before the ball gets to him. That's a good talent. I don't just mean when he has the ball, but also when he's defending. When there's a contested ball, he knows it will always come to him. People can say that it's luck, but it isn't, it's intelligence. It's really difficult, because when I play in the middle, I run around like a madman. He doesn't. He runs to where he needs to be, reads the play and, as Aaron says, reads play before the ball reaches him. As much as we like having the ball, 80% of the game, you don't have it. And he has that intelligence that I would like to have. They're my brothers, you can tell, right? If there's one person who is enjoying the brothers' fine form more than anyone, it's their father, Jose Antonio. I've been watching them for a long time and I know the level they can reach. But right now, all three of them are doing well. There's one in each division and I'm proud of my three sons. It was surely one of the best Christmas presents Jose Antonio received. That and playing alongside his sons in a charity game to help the Elche and Creviente Multiple Sclerosis Association.